Okay, in this video I'm going to do a very, very important uh, tutorial and this I'm going to show you how to get the ladder operators in terms of position and momentum for your quantum linear harmonic oscillator. So, what do we know already? In the past I've shown you the following. I've said that A minus is equal to 1 over root 2 y plus d dy. And we've said that A plus is equal to 1 over root 2 y minus d dy. And we also made the substitution way back when that y was equal to m omega over h bar square root of times x. So that's our scaling factor. So how do we get what d dx is or d dy? Well first of all let's get dy dx. Well dy dx clearly is just going to be equal to m omega over h bar to be square rooted and that means dy is equal to m omega over h bar dx or you could say that dx or dy is equal to or dy times h bar over m omega square rooted is equal to dx. One of the two. Alright? So that's how you do your scaling. So the question is, is, how do we get our position and momentum back into this? So, let's go ahead and do that. Now the point we, sorry, the other thing we need to notice is that the position, or excuse me, the momentum operator is equal to minus ih bar del del x, and the position operator, well, it's just itself. All right, so I'm just gonna write this, um, I will say del del y times, um, Gonna write this once more now, just bear with me. Okay, there are important relations. And I've shown these numerous stages and there are numerous occasions this time. So literally it's a case of plugging these back in here and rearranging such that we get the momentum and position. So let's look at A minus. Okay, if I take A minus, so A minus is like this. So if you plug back in what Y is and what DDY is, we're gonna get the following. We're gonna have m omega over h bar x and we're going to have plus h bar over m omega rooted and we're going to have del del x okay now what do we need to do well we're looking to get our position on our own which is this guy here so i'm going to call it x hat in actual fact see the only way to get x hat on its own obviously is to divide across by this or pull out this m omega over h bar square rooted so we're going to get the following here we can get one over root two we're going to get m omega over h bar. We're going to have x hat. And as a result, inside we're just going to have h bar over m omega del del x. Now, okay, we're doing pretty well so far. Now how do we get how would we get our momentum operator here? Well at the moment we look we have del del x, so that's the only way we can we can get momentum here. So we need to basically multiply above and below by this this uh, by an iota because we have a h bar del del x h bar del del x, but we have an iota here missing. So let's do the following. I'm going to say that's equal to 1 over root 2 m omega over h bar x hat and what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to say plus iota over m omega and I'm going to take, we'll say, I'm going to use it actually in fact in a different color. I'm going to show you that's equal to negative iota, or put in negative iota and I'm going to put in a h bar, or keep our h bar del del x like that. And you'll see of course that that's exactly, that these, these two are still equal. It's just another way of writing it. But what is this of course but p hat? So that means we can rewrite this as 1 over, um, oh, m, we'll say m omega over 2 h bar if I wanted, like that. And we have x minus i over m omega p. Or plus i over m hat p. And that's equal to a minus. That's the way we can write our a minus operator. All right, that's that's pretty straightforward stuff. Now I'm not going to do the the a plus operator because it's literally the same procedure, but I'm just going to give it the answer. So first of all, I'm going to rewrite a minus as one or m omega over two h bar, all rooted, uh, x hat plus i p hat, and a plus is equal to m omega over two h bar x hat minus i over m omega p hat. And what am I after doing? I'm after forgetting an m omega here. Sorry about that now. All right? So these two, these two things are very similar. So there, I suppose, that's, that's, um, that's, that's that really. Now, a good way of writing this, and I, I'm going to let it to you to, to do this, okay? A good way of writing this, you can rearrange these two very easily as this. And you can say that a minus is equal to 1 over square root 2 m h bar omega 
m omega x and this is going to be it's minus so it's going to be plus i times p and you can see it's a plus is equal to 1 over square root 2 m h bar omega m omega x hat will say minus i p and in actual fact it's this form here that which i remember i prefer to remember it that way it's the exact same as this you're just multiplying in the bits and bobs okay so that's the one i remember here and uh, yeah i like that one so the last thing I'm going to show you is a way of writing the position of momentum operators in terms of the ladder operators. And I'm going to do this very quickly. First of all, you can get P by doing, if you add, if P is equal to A minus, minus A plus. And I've shown you another way of writing it in the past, okay, but um, I've shown you another way of writing it. But look, like there, there's literally a ton of ways of writing these. So I can say it's equal to the following, 1 over root 2, or we'll say M omega, or 2H bar, square root is. And we're going to have, as a result of that, x hat plus i p hat over m omega. We're going to have to take away x hat, and we're going to have to take away. Um, we're going to have to take away. I have a typo here in my notes. I need to take away that. So I need to take away a plus. Oh, that's yeah, that is a plus. That's correct. So that's equal to i p hat over m omega. That's correct. Notice the x's go away. Okay, and we're left with that it's equal to um, m omega over 2h bar, and we get i over m omega, or 2i over m omega times p hat, like that, is equal to a minus minus a plus. And clearly you can rearrange here if you want for p. I'm not going to do it because there's no real need for that. Similarly, you can get x if you want. You can get x by taking a minus and adding a plus to it. Okay, that's another way of getting that. Now, I've done these slightly differently in other videos, but it's literally just algebra. Now, just before I finish, I'd like to just, um, I'd like to just, uh, I suppose, give you my speed on how I remember this. So, the way I remember this, if I'm ever asked to prove something like this in an exam, what I remember is this, that a minus is equal to 1 over square root 2, h bar omega, um, m omega x, minus, uh, no, that's plus i times p. And we have a plus equal to 1 over square root of 2, m h bar omega, m omega x hat minus i p hat. And I know that from this I can get everything else. How do I do that? Well, first of all, I know that if I add the 2, I'm going to get, if I add the 2, if I'm looking at it, if I add the 2, I'm just going to get position. If I take, if I take the 2 away, I'm going to get, um, if I add the two, take me back. Yeah, sorry. If I add the two, I get position because the momentum's cancel. If I take them away, the positions go away, and I'll get momentum. If I multiply them together, if I go a plus a minus, I'm going to get my number operator. I know that from that, I'm able to get my um, I'm able to get my Hamiltonian. I'm able to get my Hamiltonian, which is the number operator plus one half. I think it's what is a h bar omega. I think it's I think it's something like that. I know I'm able to get everything from that. All right, and also because uh, I'm able to get oh yeah, what's even more important is if I know this way, if I know these two here, and because I'm able to get position, I'm able to get position squared, and therefore I'm able to get the expectation value of position squared, and if I know x, I'm able to get x squared, I'm able to get the average value of x squared, which means I'm going to be able to do the uncertainty principle delta p delta x. So if I was you, and if I'm taking a course in quantum mechanics, this is the relationship I'd remember here, and I'd know how to prove it. And very quickly, to summarize, you literally use y minus ddy, or y plus ddy, and you sub in, at the very start, the, the substitution you made for y, and you rearrange to get your position and momentum. So that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, and subscribe to my channel.